Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Fort Park for the media preview event of Fright Nights 2024, which looks so, so good. The event is running from now through 3rd of November. There's four scare mazes to enjoy, scare zones, live entertainment, as well as the awesome, awesome coasters, including Hyperia here at Thought Park to enjoy in the dark. So we can't wait to get inside. We've got about half an hour, 45 minutes until we head in. We are a little bit early. The weather's looking quite good this evening. I don't think we forecast any rain, so we should have a really fun evening. I am so excited. I haven't been to this event since about 2012 and yeah a big thank you to Thought Park for having us out tonight we can't wait to get inside if you're new to the channel then my name's Charlotte this channel is all about myself my family our travel our love for theme parks both here in the UK in Orlando Florida a little bit of Disneyland Paris we love a theme park so if you like the sound of that please be sure to subscribe okay we're in line they've just come out and put the Fright Night signs out for the check-in which is just so exciting we've got the sunshine just behind the lovely Thought Park signage and logo there I just want to get inside not long now oh you're very scary <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my goodness there's so many scare actors out all around the entrance yeah, the masks are so cool yeah. uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> no Wow, look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> and then we're heading on through the dome and we're being guided down towards wherever we're going which I don't know where <laughs> maybe to a scare maze maybe some like entertainment thank you but yeah how good are those scare crow guys so good and the sunset over Thought Park looks insane tonight literally it looks so so good you can just about see stealth poking out there the swarm Hyperia's testing so hopefully we'll get on there we're just being led down this dark blue lit path wow I love the feathers. This is so. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is cool. You're yeah. the... <laughs> We're being served drinks by Headless Guys. We've got some orange, some apple. Look at your bones. Could I try an orange? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Look at all this. Kiss FM, loads of different things. So it's really, really cool. McDonald's as well. And oh my goodness, the McDonald's food truck, which excites me far more than it actually should. There's also a paella one, like a cheese toasty one, a halloumi one, and we get um, some food at some point tonight as well. But we wanna go check out some scare mazes and get scared because these actors actually look so good. Like the masks look awesome, really, really cool. How cool is this? We have a Michael Myers carving Fright Nights into a giant block of ice, which is pretty awesome. With a McDonald's behind him, it's a sentence that I never thought I would say. Well, this is insane. The lighting and the music, so good, isn't it good? And they're giving out stuff, like we got Monster, we got some Lynx, we got, oh, it's really, really cool. And yeah, we're heading down to Hyperia to go on the new maze. Oh my gosh, Hyperia's going. Are there people on there? Or is it testing still? I think there might be people. 
we'll hear in a second if they squeal. Um, but yeah, there's a house down near Hyperia called um, Deadbeat, I think it was, which is a new one for this year. So we're heading there first. Ready, ready, ready. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, there's Colossus too. Oh my gosh. Wow. I apologise for the lighting of this video and probably the audio as well. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but... Hyperia close up, I forgot how huge she is, the golden goddess, humongous, I don't think I'm going to be getting on there tonight because I'm feeling like a wimp, like, no, <laughs> but we need to eat maze stuff. <sighs> Heading into Deadbeat, which is our first scare maze of the night, there's no queue at the minute and this one they can't separate you or touch you too much, so I think this is quite a good one to start with, do you reckon? But the lady said it's scary, so we'll see. <laughs> we just got done with Dead B, and I will say we were allowed to film in the mazes here tonight, so this video will contain some like scary stuff, flashing stuff, probably some language because there's some young boys behind us in that one who were very colourful in their language. So, <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to watch any further, then don't. But I'd insert the footage from Dead B right here. Hello, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte, thank you, much appreciated. Dead.
the theme of that maze was like a nightclub and it was the last night ever so you started and it was normal and then people started to turn like a bit funny and in the end they were full blown monsters with like these white crackled faces and quite scary actually. There were quite a few jump scares, good use of noises like banging and things and a lot of strobe lights as well so it was a bit disorientating. I wasn't overly scared and I was feeling a bit jumpy and scared prior to that so I think that was a good one to start with because I know that stitches and some of the other ones they can touch you and they will separate you so dead beat if you're looking to get started and like warm up like I was <laughs> I definitely think that one's a good call and it's down kind of between Colossus and Hyperia so yeah a lot of fun I would probably rate that one three out of five Hyperia just looks Unreal in the dark, literally. Rob's gone on now. It's a five minute wait, but essentially it's gonna be a walk on. Here she goes. I can't believe we're actually here for the opening of this coaster, the tallest and fastest in all of the UK. Oh my gosh. I can't do it. I don't know what's wrong with me guys. I just cannot commit. I just wanna see the drop. So we did get given these like little guides as we came in that give us all the information on what's happening tonight. So all the big rides are up and running. I really hope to get a ride on Nemesis Inferno at some point because that's my favourite. We've got the Scare Mazes, Deadbeat, which we've done, Stitches, Trailers and Survival Games. They're all open till 10 o'clock. We've got some Scare Zones, three, Creature Campus, Lucifer's Lair and Crows of Morkin Meadow and also some shows and a 4D experience. So hopefully we can fit in as much as we can tonight but we've already been here like an hour, it's going too fast. Right, we're just now in line for Stitches which is taking place inside of Howl's Toy Emporium but like all the toys have gone bad and they're chasing you and stuff. This one I think is a bit more intense. I think they can touch and stuff. So yeah, we'll see what it's like. We've got a little bit of a line here, but hopefully it won't take too long. So around some of the mazes, they actually have themed food and drink booths. They're not open tonight, but that one, like the Toy Box Tavern, how cool. And I'm loving all the fog as well. Welcome my dear toys.
protective. Yeah, really good. You gave me your heart, but the very next day. You've been a good boy this year, Alan. Into the wrapping machine. In there! Now! Get in there! I'm not going to get in there. running as well which I didn't know they would have going tonight amazing look at that in the dark I could never absolutely terrifying so, so apologies for the close-up I'm just literally trying to aim this camera and my flashlight it's very very dark where I'm sitting but I went for a hay pesto cheese toasty which looks absolutely insane Rob's gone for the cheese and onion one which he'll bring over in a minute and then we can try them and review them and he also got the new mcdonald's mcrib and hash brown bites which they're giving out which aren't even released here yet are they no. have you ever had a mcrib yeah yeah ages ago have they ever done them in the uk before yeah oh okay i've only ever seen them in america there he is look at my shadow terrible there does that look nice mm. don't do ribs so i don't really know personally <laughs> the hash browns were nice the little um potato barrels and this is the cheese and onion one that looks unreal 
and toffee apple pie. She have a feast by camera light. <laughs> not candlelight, but camera light. Oh, and guess what happened? You know you told me not to put the monster in my pocket after I dropped it. Yeah. Leaked. Leaked. <laughs> yeah, I got a wet patch. <laughs> dropped the monster, it's leaking everywhere. Not ideal. That pesto toasty, probably the best toasty I've ever had in my life. How's the onion one? Very I'll good. try that in a minute, you can try that. And the McRib was good. This Amazing. Is, they're coming out soon, I think. Is it, they might even be out now, I don't know. I don't know, there was that thing that came through on the app, wasn't there? Yeah, there was like a false alarm on the app. The McRib is coming and everyone was like, oh my gosh, McRib. But it is actually coming. Look at there, oh my God, that's... Babe, look at what I've done. I know. Oh, I look like I've got really scared in a house, didn't I? <laughs> right, we're now heading down to the Swarm Island to see what's down here and also survival games is down here so hopefully we can experience that but look at the lighting and everything it looks so good doesn't it it's really, it's really impressive really really cool the swarm has been going round as well sporadically but i don't think there's many people down here so oh it's over here look they do have these like boards outside of every house with the scare rating and the sensory rating and all the warnings etc etc so if anyone's unsure they do kind of let you know what might and might not be suitable but yeah we're gonna go head into survival games i'm not sure i'm gonna like it because they can separate you in here right we're heading into survival games and it's just us <laughs> so i was worried about us getting separated but it's literally just us what if i'm not okay is there like a <laughs> Why are you screaming? Yeah. You're off to the yeah. slaughterhouse! Yeah. Oh, for f sake! Oh. Oh, are they ready for you? Yeah. Oh, my oh. Oh. Cast your boat and enjoy I don't a like it. Yeah. No! Press the button. Oh my god! Oh my lord, lord! Sorry! <laughs> Enjoy the game! No! Use your weapon wisely!
believe in just your I don't like it. I really don't like it. Where's the exit? <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, I think Rob is on this one right now. I cannot, like, cannot face this form. One, because my belly's full of cheese toasty. Two, because I'm traumatized right now. Three, because I'm a bit of a wimp anyway. But I do love this ride. And I was here the day it opened, literally, all them years ago. And it's still really incredible. That G-Force on that first bit is next level. signs outside of the scare zones just to let you know right let's head into this meadow can hear screeching are there people screaming down there this is cool actually i've been thinking where are all the scare zones but it's actually like tucked out the way and you have to specifically enter it which is quite cool some really nice theming oh we're gonna get a talk Yeah. <laughs> 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 the 
behind her. No, no, he was following you. <laughs> he was literally following you. I love the walk. You're spooky. The taller ones are really scary. Yeah. Is that real? I don't know. Magic at me. This is really cool. That zone was so fun. The Crows of Morkin's Meadow. Really enjoyed that. There's another one called Lucifer's Lair, which I've heard is awesome. So I really hope we get time to check that one out. It's like half nine already and time is just going so fast. But this event is really good. It's like succeeded all my expectations. Is it you? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's so good, isn't it? It's really, really good. Inferno now and they've got some more of these um, themed food booths, devilish pulled pork, pulled pork rice, brioche, nachos and soft drinks. These are really cool, there's a lot of good details that have gone into this event. Ooh, curly fries. Heading into our last scare maze of the night which is trailers.
actually got a bit of light here, so it's a good time to catch up with you guys. And um, we've just come out of trailers. I really like that one. It's good. You like the Tizia? Yeah. It's giving slaughter cinema completely. Some of the sets in there were quite good, weren't they? Like there was a room with like a bed that someone crawled out of. That was cool. That was really yeah. cool, and like a jail and stuff. It was a decent length as well. Yeah. Apart from we ended up in the gift shop. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> the lady leading the group must have pushed on like one of the finals and we all walked out into the gift shop and then we were all just like puzzled and this is after actually the first room we walked into was like a cinema and we all just sat down and the man was like keep going keep going and we were like what and then like oh, okay I'm ready to have a sit down and watch a movie <laughs> and then we walked into the gift shop I bet staff were thinking what is this group and what is wrong they turn around this isn't the exit oh, oh. <laughs> back we went reverse but yeah that was really fun if you had to rate the four scare mazes how would you rate them in terms of overall not in terms of scariness I think stitches I liked a lot yeah then survival games just because it is no. terrifying really scary that it, it was yeah but it was really good though well done yeah it's because we've never done it before no. either like if you know what's coming it really wouldn't be scary but we had no idea we went into that blind as bad yeah. didn't we not expect to be well they said we'd be separated but not not for the from whole the start thing and for most of it no yeah, it's really cool i um, think we were lucky that it was just the two of us because that gave, yeah because that just gave it lucky that extra experience what planet are you on i'm it's like an hour later now <laughs> not okay and yeah and then dead me probably number four yeah so we we're on the same yeah. kind of page stitches was actually really cool wasn't i love that one we'll yeah. do that again on the way back round um nemesis is down i don't know if it's down just closed. I don't know if it's been open at all to be fair. I've not seen it. I've not seen it but I've not looked. No. But yeah. It's shut right now. Lucifer Slayer, the scare zone area is not open right now. Maybe because the show's on. Possibly. So it may have closed because there's a fire show happening right now which I might go and look at. If you want to jump on my bureau again. Do you? Yeah. I might go peep at the fire show and then walk around and meet you at my period. Okay. You can get front row this time. Try. You haven't done back row yet. No. I, I love front row. You might love the back row. I too, need to get a... too much in front of me. I like just openness. <laughs> open, open plummet into darkness. But yeah, I'm going to go check out this show. So I'll catch you guys there. And I'll catch you after Hyperion. Good luck. Let's go. <laughs> to saw zero minute way it looks absolutely deserted what if what if there was no one else <laughs> how scary would that be on the inside bit that that gets me every time that big gunshot when you walk in the building but this ride and all the theming and everything is still one of the coolest coasters like ever to have a roller coaster themed after a horror film is insane oh my gosh just did so I'm a wimp again as usual guys I don't know what my problem is but <laughs> didn't fancy it I got frightened so I waited on the edge it was the last ride of the night and then they're closing it and it's like home time because it's just gone 10 I think so yeah we're gonna head to the front of the park I think we might grab a snack because we've still got some snacks on our wristband and head on home what an awesome awesome night if you're thinking about coming to Fright Nights this year absolutely do it because this has been so much fun like i've loved every second there are some scare zones we didn't get to see because one wasn't open tonight the other was closed by the time we got to it but it doesn't matter like we can always come back there's always next year we did all the scare mazes or houses whatever you want to call them and they were fantastic rob got to do what did you do hyperia the swarm and saw which is good going and we've eaten and we had the little drinks and stuff in the marquee to start with that was awesome yeah literally flown so fast like and yeah i just can't believe that we got to come here fort park do such amazing events and these press nights and preview nights are just unreal absolutely unreal total imposter syndrome being here tonight absolutely loved it so so grateful to fort park for having us out and to you guys for watching the vlog so thank you so much if you have enjoyed it please do be sure to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun i am off to florida in like 
three weeks now that is flying around so yeah there'll be some Florida content coming up including Halloween Horror Night, Mickey's Not So Scary, lots of Disney, Universal, fun stuff. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys!